period cost application. This is your last video for this week, and it's on topic four, direct step down and reciprocal approach. Several fashions of allocating the costs of supporting units to operating divisions have been created with varying degrees of complexity. The complexity of the systems hinge not on uh, not only on the arithmetic, you know, the number crunching involved, but also obtaining the data required to do so. The direct and step down methods allocate support costs directly to operating divisions, all, all or in part ignoring the supporting units also require the support of other supporting units. The reciprocal method has simultaneous consideration that support units support other units as well as operating units. Let's take a, let's, let's dive in. Under the direct method, it's the simplest and the cheapest to implement. Under this method, the direct method, it is assumed that supporting divisions do not provide any support to each other and all costs of the supporting divisions are allocated only and directly to the operating divisions, never to any other supporting divisions. In our example, let's say that we have an IT department of the company and they spend a million dollars in costs and use 6,000 hours of time. The 1,000 hours um, are spent supporting the legal department, 2,000 on machining, which is an operating division, and 3,000 on assembly, which is also an operating division. Let's take a look at this in Excel. So how exactly would we allocate these IT costs? Well, first, let's look at all of our departments. We have IT, which is a support department. We also have legal, which is another support department. How do we know it's support? Well, is our business legal? No. Is our business IT? No. Then it's probably support. Okay, then we have our machining division, and this is going to be ops, and we have our assembly division. Again, ops, or operations. <sighs> Must be last video, eh? Okay, let's make this a little bold, and let's start looking at our numbers. Okay. So we have our IT department and they have costs and they have costs of a million dollars. Basically every department has costs, right? So we're just right now in this question, we're gonna be ignoring the costs for these other departments because what our whole point is doing is figuring out how much of these IT support do we give to legal, do we give to machinery, do we give to assembly? So costs of a million dollars and we have hours. So how much hours does IT use? Well, we're gonna say none, or right? So we're gonna say none. And how much does legal use? They use 2,000, okay. Got a little bold going on here. Uh, machining uses, oh, sorry, legal uses 1,000. Machining uses 2,000, and assembly requires 3,000. I'm going to shift this over a bit. Perfect. This says total. And right now, we have total costs to allocate of a million. And we have our total hours to allocate of 6,000. Under the direct method, we're trying to figure out how much of these legal costs do we allocate to legal machining and assembly. Keeping in mind that legal machining and assembly are also gonna have their own app costs. So right now, I wanna figure out how much do I, let's allocate IT. So this is cost hours, let's allocate our IT costs. So if we're gonna allocate them, that's a million dollars down for IT, right? Because we're gonna allocate these out to figure out which how much is gonna to go to legal, machinery, and assembly. And under the direct method, what we're essentially going to say is we're going to ignore the fact that legal uses any. And we are going to say, great, we have uh, machining uses 2,000 divided by 
the available hours for the operations, so 2,000 plus 5,000. And then we're gonna times that by our million dollars in cost to allocate, or I guess we can go over here, pardon me, and make that negative just so that we are doing it in equal and opposite ways. So, yep, that makes sense. Let's freeze these. And do the same for our assembly. So where we're taking a look and assembly uses 2,000 out of the total 5,000 and get their fair share of the million dollar costs. And let's do a quick check because we're reducing costs from our IT department and directly giving them to our assembly and our machining, our operations accounts. This should be zero. And it is. All right. Wonderful. Let's move along. Welcome back. Now we are looking at the second method, the step down method. This method, uh, it's similar to the direct method, except now we have a step. So we're taking some costs from a support unit and allocating them to the other support unit and uh, operating unit and operating unit at the same time. Then when we're left with only costs in the support unit, we then take this bucket of costs and allocate to operating unit and operating unit so that by the end we're only left with costs in the operating unit. Let's take a look at our other example and see how that would have worked with our step down approach. So here was our exact example that we had just looked at uh, for our direct method. You'll see at the bottom here I have called this the direct method. Let's move or make a copy and let's call this the step down method. What would make this different? Well, here we are saying, and we'll assume that we allocate IT support first. We are assuming that now legal gets some of these costs and machining gets some of these costs and assembly gets some of these costs if we're allocating IT first. So this is going to be incorrect and this is going to be incorrect. So we still have a million dollars in cost to allocate, but what we're saying is that legal gets one sixth of these costs. And then if we, again, freeze, the allocation base and the amount to allocate, then they, uh, legal is getting a thousand out of 6,000 worth in the million. And machining gets two out of 6,000 and assembly gets three out of 6,000. So we're still allocating all of these costs, but we are first saying that, hey, we get it. Legal, <laughs> they need 1,000 hours uh, per year. They use one sixth of the IT hours per year uh, in order to um, keep their, their legal stuff supporting. Okay, so now we are left with zero costs to allocate for IT. And this would equal all of legal's buckets of costs plus 167K of IT. And then this would equal all of machining, machining's operations plus their 333 assembly, same thing, assembly um, plus their 500K worth of allocated IT. So the next step would be to um, equal, it would be to negative. So do the same thing, allocate all of these costs now to machining and operations. We don't have enough case facts, but I just wanted to kind of show that the goal of this by the end is to have, oh, excuse me, had to take a little sneeze break. Uh, the goal is it to have zero dollars in the support and to have all of your costs in machining and operations. You'll notice we aren't eliminating any costs. We aren't increasing any costs. We're just shifting them from the support divisions to the operating divisions. So 
we are going kind of a step further to ensure that we really know what does it take to run a machining operations? What does it really take, cradle to grave, to run the assembly operations? Okay, let's take a look back at our slides. One of the tricky parts with the step-down method is determining which order to allocate support units to each other, because this will ultimately affect the amounts allocated to each operating unit. Some rationale basis must be selected using the ordering that the support unit with the highest percentage of service provided to other service is ranked first, uh, followed by other supporting units. Uh, a company could also use the highest to lowest cost of service provided to the other units uh, in order to perform the ranking. So it's just gonna come down to uh, reading the question and making your allocation with the step-down method that way. The reciprocal method allocates all support costs to support units and operating divisions on the basis of hours of services consumed simultaneously. It is the method that best illustrates that support units do indeed consume each other's services. So uh, in the previous example, it's possible that IT provides laptop repair services to legal department and the legal department provides contract renewal services to an IT department. This is the most expensive to implement, it requires detailed tracking of the use of support services, not only by the operating divisions, but also by the support divisions themselves. I brought this one in um, because Yes, it will be examinable at an awareness level, meaning you need to know about it in theory. What are its pros and cons? Uh, is it time consuming? Is it expensive? Is it, you know, pain in the butt? Um, but you do not, because it's at an awareness level, this means that you do not actually have to apply and calculate it. Quite frankly, it would take too much time and effort for me to reasonably expect you to study for, and I do not see the stress study time as a value add when we do have a number of other topics to cover in the second part. Uh, if you are curious, I have included a case I wrote for my Dalhousie interview, along with its full solution, which includes a walkthrough of all allocation methods, direct, step down, and reciprocal. This case is written about a Dalhousie student who is adding value to his community through his love of food trucks. Are you interested? Uh, this will be in your chapter 14 folder on Brightspace. It's not for marks and therefore is not mandatory. However, you can absolutely use it to supplement your understanding of this chapter. And I'm happy to discuss questions on that or anything else via email or Calendly office hours. All right, time for your last question. You have been hired as a consultant for a manufacturing company. The manufacturing company has six operating divisions and three support divisions. The corporate controller asks for your opinion on methods of cost allocation. The controller believes that virtually all support services are consumed by the operating divisions. He also notes that the company is currently going through a cost review, attempting to eliminate costs from the corporate structure. What allocation method are you more most likely to recommend? A, the linear method. B, the reciprocal method. C, the step-down method. D, the direct method. The correct answer is D. Since the company already appears to know that very few support services are consumed by the other support services, that is, they are all consumed by operating divisions, the direct method is likely the best, as they do not need to consider the amounts consumed by support services. Additionally, since it is the simplest, it is the lowest cost to implement, which also appears to be beneficial for the company, given their attempt to eliminate costs from the corporate structure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and week, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.